Hi, my name is Adam Everla and I would like to welcome you to this month's Flowers What's Next. We're going to take branches that we have left over, a vase that we have in home, and some gorgeous fairy lights to create the best flower design that's going to take you from day to night. Let's start building that armature that we need for this design. True story, I'm a little bit of a hoarder. We cut down some stuff in our yard and I had these branches and I knew one day they would come in handy and they are coming in handy today. So I just have a pile of branches, cylinder vase, you can use a round vase, square vase, really whatever you would like to use would be absolutely fine. And then I'm using bind wire to connect the branches. You can certainly use yarn, you can use zip ties. You're not gonna see it, it's just bind wire works best for me. First thing we're going to do is let's start with a couple of pieces within the base. And then I'm going to put one across like so. And this is where you want to start binding your joints. So I'm just gonna put this around here give it a nice twist so it's secure. And by doing an armature, it's gonna hold all of our flowers in place and give us that completed finished look. And we'll put another one going across. There is really no rhyme or reason for this. Do whatever way works for you. We just want to make sure the branches are going up and they're going out to hold all of those lights on it to give us that beautiful glow. Turn that. And you just keep doing this all the way through. And if there's wires there, that's why I don't cut them off because you can use the same wire to secure another branch to it. There's no reason to always cut them off. I'll put another couple throughout. But isn't that kind of cool? Just from branches that I was going to toss away and I saved and now I can take them and use it for this. And then you just cut off the excess pieces. I've already mixed our floral food with the water. We just pour it in. A little bit more. And our armature is ready for our beautiful flowers. All right, we have our armature base. I already laid out the flowers for this month. It is beautiful creams and peaches, beautiful for June. It's a breath of fresh air, and I think it's going to create the most gorgeous arrangement. All right, let's start with the stock flower. We're gonna go ahead and put these in, making sure you get them fed in between the armature. And do you see how the armature just holds every flower perfectly? That's why we bind them together so the flowers can stay right in place. All right, we have our triangle. We always like to do things in a triangle pattern if we have threes. One, two, three, and that keeps your eye moving through the entire display. Next, we're gonna add in some Ostromeria, leaving enough room for these to bloom beautifully open. And again, since we have three, we're gonna create that triangular effect. Now we're going to add on another three, lots of threes this month. These beautiful, these are called caramel. Isn't that a great color? And we're going to put those throughout the design. I love how the wood carries this brown earthy tone into the flowers. This is perfect for your next outdoor barbecue, whether you're having guests or even for yourself. We should always treat ourselves. Our roses, we're gonna do one of these 
in the center. Beautiful peach rose. Always wanting to give enough space for them to open up within the design. And now the roses, we do have a line. We're not following the triangle, but I really wanted to make sure that no matter where you were looking, you got to see a gorgeous rose. And these spray roses are absolutely stunning. These I'm gonna put right in the center. And now when you look at design, you carry this beautiful caramel color up to this rose and it completes that whole pattern. And we have our mini carnations. If you have a stem that's this gorgeous and it has lots of blooms on there, go ahead and cut it so we can have multiple insertions. And these will just go throughout the design, carrying through. Isn't that pretty? Do another one here. And one in the center. You know, every time I lean forward, I can smell these roses, and I wish you could smell them, and I know you can because you have them, but these roses smell absolutely amazing. It just brings a smile to my face. All right. So that is our base design. Absolutely perfect for outdoors. Great color, great armature, using up what you have. And the next thing we're gonna do is add some of these beautiful fairy lights to take our arrangement from day to night and to give a little bit of excitement to your guests. We're gonna start by adding some lights coming up this branch. We really want to accent the lights going throughout like this, like the crescent of a moon. We wanna keep that light movement happening so I'm gonna put some throughout this branch and I'm gonna weave some of these throughout the design and imagine how beautiful this is gonna be at night when you switch these on as the sun's about to say good night and you go over to your arrangement and transform it into something a little bit more magical. And let me turn this around. And I love fairy lights because you could just weave them in the actual string starts to disappear within the design. And this pack, we're gonna bring this back. We're gonna put this pack onto the armature within the flowers. You won't even see it. Make sure the flowers cover it up and it's completely gone. Let me just clean these up a little bit for you. The nice thing about all these flowers is you can weave them in and you don't even notice that there's a string until they start to glow. What do you think? I hope you love it. This is the perfect arrangement to bring you from day to night and to really shine light on those beautiful flowers. Remember, like and subscribe and we will see you next month with another amazing floral design.